Hello, hello everybody, how are you? I'm so excited to come back today and talk to you. Somebody's asked me to give you some tips on procrastination. So I have written a blog already about it and I've uh, I've done a couple of posts about it but it seems that procrastination is one that keeps coming back and I guess because you're in your home environment it may just be easier to kind of you know be on Facebook or checking out your social media instead of being very engaged and very proactive with what you're doing so there's you know there's the kind of things that no no some of the challenges that you could have you know because you're working in your home environment however this is not just a home environment issue there was a, a survey that there was a survey done and 76 billion pound in britain in uk is spent on waste of time, waste of management, waste of people procrastinating all the day. So it, it did used to be, you know, the time that people used to go for cigarettes or go and make a cup of coffee or, you know, gone and gone for their lunch for hours and on, on end. Um, and now with that kind of shift where you're working from home, it's a different kind of procrastination. So procrastination, what is it? Well, it's actually you know, procrastinating is actually something that, you know, you do because you're not really engaged with what you're supposed to be doing. You kind of rather do something else than this task on hand. And um, there's a couple of things that you need to think about. Sometimes you don't want to be doing the task perhaps because it's bore, bored, you're bored, it's boring you. Sometimes you don't want to do the task because you don't know how to do it. So you're kind of fiddling around and, you know, you kind of finding anything else than this to do and sometimes you kind of you know um it's that fear isn't it is the fear of you know uh, being out of control and not being able to do the things that you're supposed to be doing so you'd rather not do it right so some of those are some of the things about procrastination so it is common and you know when you're looking at yourself as a person Perhaps your environment isn't helping you neither. Remember, yes, I'm coming now with a bit shui and some of my shui tips for today. So three things to kind of avoid procrastinating, be more get engaged and productive. Isn't it happy days, right? So your environment may be affecting you in a way that you know you may just be a little bit like oh i can't be bothered doing this so looking at your environment you may have uh perhaps not enough metal elements so the metal element is all about thinking it's all about that man mental mental my mental <laughs> that consciousness um and so uh, if you haven't got enough metal in your environment this could be the fact that you kind of you're not bothered you know you kind of let it go um it, so adding a bit of metal in your environment will be helpful so things like yes metal uh gold you know all those kind of things could work anything white that could work as well this is the white is the color of the metal and um, anything round flat those kind of things could actually do the trick so add a little bit of metal it could just be a pot a plant with a metal plant you know it could be you know anything would add a little bit of that humph into your um your office the second one is well you know i'm a bit of a essential oil fan and um, anything to kind of bring a little bit of energy energizing you you're looking at things like why not diffusing a little bit of lemon or orange anything kind of fruity is really good grapefruit is really good uh bergamot i love bergamot it's super super kind of um uh oil to to diffuse and it just straight away <gasps> you smell it and you get that whoa, energy straight away and that's just kind of give you that booster that you may need to kind of re-engage and the third one which I'm going to tell you a story about. It's the story about this man, an old man. They live in the forest and every year they have a competition of cutting the wood, right? They cut the wood and every night, every year, it's the same old man who wins the competition. 
So this year, this young man was really kind of shafted. He was just like, I'm going to win this year. You're not going to win. I'm going to make sure that I'm winning. So they start the competition and the young man just goes and goes and goes. And, and he goes and goes and goes and he tap, tap, tap away. And the old man tap, 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 15 minutes. He goes away for 10 minutes. He comes back, tap, 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 15 minutes. And then he goes away for 10 minutes. At the end of the day, they count the wood and guess what? The old man has won again. This is not possible. The young man is just shouting here, there and everywhere. That's not possible. How can it be possible? You've been going away every hour for 10 minutes. You know, you can't have not, you know, been able to cut more wood than me. Where have you been going? So he was quite angry, you know, you can imagine. And the old man says, well, for 10 minutes, I was sewing my soul. No, oh, what's, what's the word now? I knew I was going to forget the word. I was sharpening my soul. Every 10 minutes, he was sharpening my soul, his soul. So this is what I'd like you to think about, right? We have, and working from home is probably even more intense because you're just constantly on your on your computer, you're constantly on the Zoom, you're constantly, you know, everywhere and you're not taking that break. I like you to really kind of make a conscious effort to stop every 50 minutes and go and sharpen your soul. Go for 15 minutes, go outside and take a deep breath. Work for 50 minutes, then go and have a glass of water. Every hour, cut your, you know, hour, get up, move, change your position, you know, change the environment. So this is really much that very, very, it's for your own personal sake, right? And remember, put the mask in front of yourself before you help anything, anybody else. So my three smart shoey moves for today and for procrastination, you know, give it a go. It's very simple and very easy to do. Add some metal elements in your home office. See, this will, you know, bring up some energy and some mental thinking. Number two, diffuse some fruity kind of uh, essential oil. Number three, take a break every 50 minutes, okay? And so this, those are my little smart shoey moves. I am glad I'm so pleased that you're here with me and watching my little uh, videos. If you want me to talk about something specific that maybe your experiences in your workplace, let me know. I'd love to give you some shoey moves for those specific challenges that you're having. I will also put a link um, in there for my home office uh, productivity survey. If you really want to kind of know where you are and how you could be more productive, I've done a little survey. It's less than 10 minutes. It really is a long, but um, it would give you an idea on how perhaps you could be more productive. That's all for now. Thank you.